Welcome to Bay Sunday. I'm your host, Kenny Choi. A lot in store this morning, but first, did you know that Monday, September 18th is National Cheeseburger Day? Our favorite lifestyle guru, Amy Sewell, is here with some of the best burgers you can eat on Cheeseburger Day, or any day for that matter, and some pairings uh, to make them even better. Welcome to Bay Sunday again, Amy. It's great to be back. Thanks for having Good me. I believe in celebrating us. every national holiday. Yes, yes. And, and definitely, especially Cheeseburger cheeseburger Day, yeah. right? And, and what I love a, about it. A great it, spread here. Yeah, it comes at the very end of summer, so it's a great excuse you know, to get together with some friends, maybe have a little bit of a cookout tomorrow yeah. or something. So I worked with several companies to put together some ideas. We started off with six different types of burgers here. I found it almost Omaha steaks. They actually have almost two dozen different kinds of burgers. Then we piled them up with different types of toppings and cheese and paired them up with some wine to find some really good matches there for you. Yeah, you always want a little bit of, a bit of variety exactly. when it comes to food, especially burgers. All right, so what do we have uh, on this side? Well, first I'm going to start out with a Delmonico burger that we have piled with some caramelized onions and blue cheese. Now, obviously, this is a very hearty, very hearty mm -hmm. combination that we have here. So you want a good full-bodied wine to go with that. The Josh Schiller's Cabernet Sauvignon is a really nice match for that. Again, full-bodied wine has some really nice flavors of blackberry and plum in that. So that's going to be a really good match for that. It's a good California wine, only about $16 a bottle. So a great price point on that as well. Okay. This one's pretty intriguing. Pizza burger. Yeah, we took a signature burger from Omaha Steaks and then turned it into a pizza burger by putting some rich tomato sauce and mozzarella on here. And a nice wine pairing for that. You want something that's a little bit lighter um, than the first wine we had. So this Vila Pozzi Nero Diavola is a nice uh, medium-bodied wine, really nice bright red with you know, really great fruit flavors in this. And that's going to be a nice balance for the weight of the mozzarella in that burger. Mm -hmm. And this one, bison sliders. I, I've okay. tried bison burgers before. A, a little bit of a healthier option well, actually, for these, some These are for filet, some filet mignon sliders okay, that we that's have right, here. Okay. So we're going to get fancy here right, for a right. minute bison, with our okay, burgers. I, I skipped a bit. Bison yeah. burgers later And on. with these, we top these with an aged cheddar cheese. So again, that's going to make that a very hearty combination. And a good match for that is this Pinot Noir that we have from the calling. And um, this is, again, kind of mi medium to full-bodied weight on this. Nice plum, uh, or nice some ra raspberry and cherry flavors in this. The thing that's interesting about the calling wines, these are actually a partnership from wine producer Peter Deutsch and CBS sports commentator Jim Nance. Oh, wow. It's their line that they do a really great bottle of wine, about $37 for this one, a really nice pairing if you're going to do something like these filet mignon sliders. Sounds excellent. And yeah. here's the bison burger. Yes. Okay. And again, that's something a little bit different. Bison is a little richer, earthier flavor than some of the other beef burgers that we have here. And so what we did, we turned this into a Greek burger. We to topped it with some Greek salad and feta cheese. Yeah. And a nice match for that is this Baroni Fini Pinot Grigio. This is, I call this wine cut, it's kind of a little black dress of wine. It goes with everything. It's a nice medium bodied wine. It's light enough for lighter foods, but it's robust enough to stand up to the earthier flavors of the bison burger that we have here. This is also only about $14 a bottle. So great maybe if you're having a crowd over. And just a really great white wine to have on hand. Yeah, nice option there. Yeah. And uh, what do we have right next to that bison burger? Well, Matt, you know, often at Thanksgiving you have Sauvignon Blanc on the table because it's such a great pairing with turkey. Well, it also works with turkey burgers. Mm -hmm. So we paired up this um, Sauvignon Blanc from the crossings with the turkey burger and we have this topped with some mango chutney and Havarti cheese. And the citrus flavors in this wine is it's a really nice match, really brings out the flavor of the chutney and it's a nice pairing with the buttery uh, flavor and texture of that Havarti cheese on there. And this is about $15 a bottle as well. Okay and so we got a little bit of a healthier option uh, to the left over there. Okay. That's the vegetable burger. Absolutely. You know veggie burgers, you know, vegetarians, you don't want to leave them out of your cookout. Of course Omaha not. Steaks yeah. has veggie burgers burgers as well. And I love these. These are made with organic sunflower seeds, brown rice, carrots, and a lot of different herbs. Absolutely delicious there. We've topped these with some goat cheese. And a nice pairing for that is this Epa Sangria. And there are a couple things that make this a good match for this. Number one, it's a very light wine, very light bodied wine. It's only about 9% alcohol content in it. If you had something heavier like a Cabernet or a Chardonnay, that's really going to overwhelm the flavors of the veggie burger on this. This is also, this Epa is made from organic grapes and superfruit juices. So for people who really pay attention um, to that type of thing with <laughs> okay. what they eat or drink, it's a really nice match for that. One thing I love about this Epa also, it has a screw cap on it. Um, this, the Crossings does as well as is this Vila Pozzi Nero Diavolo down here. I love that, particularly when you're entertaining because that makes it so easy if you have a bunch of people over. It's just very, very easy for people just to pop open another bottle and pour a glass. Sounds great. We are definitely ready to celebrate uh, National Cheeseburger yes. Day. <laughs> I think a lot of people here in the studio are also eager to, uh, to try some of the burgers here. They, it looks fantastic. Thank you. Amy Sewell, uh, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. For more information, you could log on to shopwithstyle.com. That's shopwithstyle.com. Coming up, more food and drink when we celebrate Oaktoberfest. We'll be right back with more Bay Sunday coming up after this break.